feeding time for this cane break rattlesnake timber rattler. Um, hasn't eaten in about two weeks. Apparently they uh, have a hard time. Look at those fangs. My goodness, man. Did you see that? They don't really have mice regularly at the pet store. They seem to go out fast. But he just struck at this mouse like a side strike. I don't know how thorough of a strike it was. <clears throat> or if he even fanged him. I'm not even sure. But uh, I'm trying to film this with the hood off so I don't have to go through the screen for good footage. Uh, you never want to get too comfortable uh, around these venomous snakes. If you do get bit, I'm sure they don't have the local venom at Walmart. As you can see now, he's starting to get into pursuit mode, stalking this mouse, uh, coming out of his coils. Uh, he usually just stays kind of lamped up for hours and days at a time, not moving, but uh, here I think he's in pursuit, knowing that there's prey in his domain. As he flickers out his tongue, he is trying to get a taste of what's going on. And with his eyes, he's seeking out the movement of this mouse, which is uh, right over here. Uh, doesn't seem to be moving around too much, but he's alive and well. And he's kind of checking out his little environment, his temporary home however long it will last while he's still breathing. Um, I'm trying to film this, but I'm also keeping an eye on this snake. Like, I just think about the craziest things, like if it were just to strike and launch at me right now, would it be able to get me? And, uh, it's highly unlikely. I'm sorry, this footage is a little boring at this time. I need a little bit more action, so I'm going to see if I can stir things up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to try to instigate this mouse to move around. Okay, so there goes the mouse. Okay. The mouse is totally being seen by the snake at this point. And the snake is coming out in pursuit of the mouse. There we go. I think we just missed the strike. Okay, there he goes again. He's going to go for the strike. I think he got him one time. I think he got him. I can see the mouse is starting to have some type of distress breathing right now. Um, and the snake is just coiled back, ready to launch at this mouse again. He's gonna launch at this mouse another time. He's just staring at him. It's like a stare down right now at this point. You know, it all happens so fast. But uh, I think in 99% of the chance when those snakes strike, especially being so young, they're they're getting their fangs on something. They're not playing around. I know it does take a moment of time for the venom to kick in. Uh, 
This mouse does seem still very active. It's like inches within the striking zone of the snake and Oh, there it was. There it was. Now that see now when the snake bites it and pulls it back, that is when you know he bit it. Okay, now the snake will readjust his jaws, but he put his mouth on that mouse and bit it and when he struck the mouse came back with him. That mouse does not know what to do right now. Um, this snake is going to readjust his jaws. I'll kind of zoom in for that. See so if you can get a nice picture of his, of his mouth open. He's got a little bit of dirt and debris in there. But if you can see, he's got his fangs folded up. He's got a little bit of dirt in his mouth. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. There you go, he got that little bit of dirt that's in his mouth out. So that's just debris. Oh yeah. That was a healthy strike. Yeah, now this is the mouse. And it's just about out at this point. Yeah, he's not jumping around, moving around too much. That was a very thorough bite. Um, he just seems to have this piece of dirt in his mouth he can't get out. Over here, uh, that's a, a sidewinder. It's a little less than a foot long, so he's not large enough to eat mice yet. I tried feeding him pinkies, but uh, it has not quite gravitated to being held pinkies uh, frozen from the pet store. So this mouse is pretty much jammed up. Okay, um, but he is still moving. It won't be for much longer. No, that snake is not your friend, buddy. Struck at him again. The snake does not like anything next to him moving. Poison is kicking in. Then... So I'm just going to move the mouse out into an area where it's going to be easy for the snake to get a hold of it. Did you see those fangs?
look at that. Look at that. The mouse is still going through paralysis. Uh, it's taken a few minutes to totally uh, desensitize this creature from life. Look at that snake coming from the background, ready to check out his quarry. He sticks out his tongue, the closer and closer he gets to it, uh, the more he feels out his prey. Now this mouse is still uh, moving. Uh, the snake is probably going to try to still eat him, it looks like. Uh, somehow they always know where the head is at. Wow. Hmm. 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 The mouse is still moving. But this snake is going to maneuver this mouse uh, so he can eat it. The mouse is going over top of his head.
Yeah, he actually took that mouse's head um, not straight on forward, but actually sideways. When I bought this mouse today, I um, bought one a little bit larger than the one I had bought last time I fed him. Uh, because I want to see how long it would take for it to eat a larger mouse. And if it could eat a larger mouse. The mouse is still moving, actually. Look at that, amazing. Um, being that this snake 
is swallowing this mouse uh, sideways. I wouldn't be surprised if it can eat like a full grown mouse. Now I put that mouse in there live. I just bought it from the pet store and dropped it in there live. Um, there was no like trying to knock it out or anything. I just tried to feed my ball python while the camera was running. Uh, and uh, I was trying to drown the mouse but didn't want to drown. I tried to get like a little sensitive sore spot on. I don't want the animal to suffer for sure. Um, but I would rather see my ball python eat. And at this point, um, my ball python is in the midst of shedding. So, um, I don't know if his appetite is as voracious. Or if him uh, striking, if his striking is going to be compromised because um, not being able to see. The, I can tell he's about to shed because the eyes are blue and the color of him is not as bright and shiny as um, it normally is. He's about to shed, he or she, I don't know what it is. But this is a cane break, uh, timber rattler, sucking down a mouse. Um, this snake I've had for um, maybe a, well, over a month now, you know. Uh, this is my uh, third time feeding him. And, uh, I've always fed a mouse. A mouse. At the same time, I got the cane break. I brought this sidewinder. Um, this fella, fella here is a little small. He's not able to eat pinkies yet. I don't think. I tried getting a pinky from the store and it was frozen and defrosted it and I didn't want to strike and take it so I gave it to the cane break and uh, it made short of it. But I would assume if I put something in there and let it stay, it might come around to eating it. Yeah. There goes my ball python. Kind of lamping up there. Really, really nice colors there. I'm tempted to try to feed it again, but I gotta get something to eat. I'm hungry and I'm about to go see my daughter. So here it is, you know, feeding time for my venomous snakes and non venomous. These mice cost about $6 a piece, and I noticed that they only sell males because I guess they don't want nobody to breed them. Because they're female, I will start breeding these little suckers in the backyard. Um, they stink. I wouldn't be doing this in the house. They do stink. But, I don't know. So I do got my little... snake, uh, whatever you want to call it, and I got my tongs here. When it comes to messing around with these creatures indoors, I'm not trying to get bit. But that's it. This is a little mouse here. I tried to drown his ass in that cup. He didn't want to drown too easy. Right there, actually. So there it is. 